All right, we are back with the react. This is near and dear to my heart. Probably one of the most important videos I've ever reacted to. Hey, Soundway TV. If you don't know now, you know I'm the king, all right? Please drop your feet at the door. There you go. If you're going to donate, leave some money in the collection plate. Cash out Hayes Waves Biz. Dollar sign Hayes Waves Biz. DMX, an all time great in music, not rapper, but in music. Hurt my heart a week, just a little bit over a week ago that he passed. And this is the first time I'm going to see him break down his iconic music. So we're going to react to this together. If I get emotional, whatever, it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, this is DMX breaking down his iconic tracks. Let's react. Anger in it, which I always feel like people never want to admit that they're angry. No, and I'm angry all the time. And a lot to be grateful for. Like, like it was a good time. You know, we had a lot of fun down there. And, you know, Miami, third album. What? You know, when I get in that studio, it's a whole other situation. It's kind of who I am. X go give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. Call. Wait, wait, wait. Like, the fact, like, he just, he's DMX like no other. Just the way he talked, bro. I was filming Cradle to, Cradle to the Grave in L.A. You know, I was, I was coming up with songs and going to, I was going to the studio after I would finish filming. So Joe Silver got a studio bus, which he put on the movie lot. You know, after filming, we'd go right in the bus and, you know, bang joints out. And I let him hear a couple of songs. Like, oh, I need it for the movie. I, need it. Like, I had to stop letting him hear songs because, you know, it was, uh, right, wrong. He's like, I want it for the movie. And then that's going to give it to you. That song was supposed to be on my fifth album. But he's like, I need it for the movie. I'm like... All right, fuck it. He's like, I'm gonna shoot the video and all that. And I said, like, all right. I said, well, as long as I can do the soundtrack, you can have the song for the movie. I got the soundtrack, so we get the song for the movie. And so, really, but I, I did want it for my album. I got a, 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 a huge weight on my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm responsible for my music. You know what I'm saying? And, and each album has to do many things. Many things. I take that into consideration as I'm recording them, as I'm doing them. You know what I'm saying? X, I'm going to give it to you. It sounds different than it sounds. It's him, but it sounds completely different to anything he'd done before that. I want to say 90, what is that, 03? Before anything he's ever done. Like, it, it's him, but it, it's just it's a different feel. Like, X, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Okay, ah, man. Oh, I want to go. Like, oh, man. Man, there's no way you can listen to that and not be pumped, man. X, I'm going to give it to you, bro. I don't, I don't take that responsibility lightly. Stop. That was Swiss Beats' first record, and that was one what? of the fastest songs I wrote. I wrote it in about 15 minutes, and I actually didn't what? want to write it. I didn't want to do that song. The beat was simple and repetitive. He wrote that in 15 minutes? That Swiss Beats first? Like, what? You wrote that in 15... Stop! Drop! Shut it out! Open up! You wrote that in 15 minutes? God. And that was Swiss Beats first? It take me a whole week to write a song, bro. There's nowhere near like this. And he did that in 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And the flow I came up with was just like so many other songs with so much substance. I was like, the song is like, like fucking ABCs, like elementary. Niggas wanna die, niggas wanna die. Niggas wanna like, bro. All I know is pain, all I all feel is rain. I cannot make pain with madness on my brain. I'm glad I did do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, you know, I, I listened. I listened. It was like, yo, just do it, then, you know, just do this. And I, and it worked out. I wrote two other songs that same night. I wrote uh, Fuckin' With D and Let Me Fly. Oh, That let same me night. Fly. So it was like, all right, I can do this. Like, all right, like, all right you want it? Yeah, whatever. I would never revisit it because, I mean, we did a remix to it, but like, I, I wouldn't do another version of it because it is its own thing. You know what I'm saying? It's probably its most iconic, iconic song. And that was wise idea. Whatever. You know, we always, you know, we fuck with the hood anyway. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, we got to get the bikes in there and do this. And I'm like, all right, you know, let's do it. That was, that was my second video. You know, the first video, get at me, dog, in the tunnel. Get at me, Crazy. Dog. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, we got to take it to the streets. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Let me see. That was the third album oh in Miami. God. recorded a joint, and the Earth bought me that beat. 
Irv got Irv Gotti brought me that beat. They were almost finished with the album. He's like, yo, I got the fucking banger for you. And so they put on, I was like, oh, come on, dang, dang, dang. Shout out to Irv, It's crazy. Just like, like, Damn. Yeah, I wrote that kind of fast, too. No, no, I'm angry all the time. Like, it was a good time. You know, we had a lot of fun down there. And Miami, third album. What? You know, when I get in that studio, it's a whole other situation. It's like, fuck you, suck my dick, fuck out of here, and bitch ass nigga, I'll kill you. Like, you know, it's kind of who I am. What that means is that I tell money bye bye and pop them in his right eye. Sometimes people want to feel worse. You know what I mean? They don't always want to feel better. Like, 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 however the fuck you want to feel, Bro. there should be a song that helps you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? That you could just ride to and then, you know, just feel like you want to feel. Who the fuck wants to be happy all the time? You get taken advantage of all the time. Thanks. Nobody will take you serious. Happy all the time. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, that's a fact, bro. Sometimes you just want to get that anger out. Just, just want to, just want to, you know, get that aggression out without going off on somebody. Like sometimes that's what's needed. Like you don't listen to BMX and all of a sudden you want to kill. Somebody. Like no, you just want to get that aggression out. You want to get that dog out. You know what I mean? Ah, here we go. Party up. Make me act a fool. Up in here. Up in here. Uh, that was the second to last song I did on my, my third album. Favorite song. Man, I'm thinking the album's done. <laughs> And they can switch with this fucking beat. I'm like, oh this, my god, this shit is crazy. Like, right, you know, I, I thought, you know, it was hit with what's my name, and then he hit me with, and then Swiss hit me with party up, and I was like, bananas, you know. And, and I felt like I had something to prove too. You know what I mean? Because at that point, I was the only artist in history to have their first two albums debut at number one, and to have two platinum albums in one year. So I'm like, I want to do it again. I'm like, all right, like, you know, motherfuckers think it's a joke. Like, all right, I got, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you yeah. something. It took me 13 years to get a fucking record deal. You know, you go, you go get more than a couple albums out of me. Well, for one, I didn't make it for the club. The beat is for the club. I just spit some real shit to it. Like, all right, you give me a beat that people can dance to, and I'll spit some shit that motherfucker can beat somebody up to. It's a good combination. <laughs> you kind of want the best on your music if you're going to do music. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, all right, I can hit X on this. They know I'm going to do it justice. I'm going to give it a long, long life. It's called Party Up, but it's just... Bro, nobody ever... Let me tell you something. In the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, nobody wanted to follow DMX on a track. Go go back. Go back. Look at all the tracks where DMX is featured on. I bet you he's either last or second to last. Might be only a few times he's first. And maybe I believe uh, Money Cat... Was it Money Cat Shows? Mm, 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 do, do, do. No, he's second. I believe he's second. Yeah, he's talking about that, but like, like you don't want to follow DMX because his energy is so crazy. You can't follow that up, bro. No rapper can follow up. Uh, money, cash, toes, money, cash, toes. Why? Come on. Why? 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 <laughs> very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. I know that was a hook, but still. It feels good. It's good. Again, it confirms nothing I've dared to believe that, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know, my music is not just for the moment. It's forever. That was the second to last song I did on, uh, on the Grand Champ album. That was also my, uh, my, 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 my friend Kato's favorite song. He was there when I recorded it, because I did it in, in Chicago. And D bought the beat to Chicago, and I, you know, I heard it joint, and I was like, immediately, like, oh, what a, what a, what a, that, like, like I, I, I was in love with that beat when Kane did it, you know, but I like the way they revamped it, you know what I'm saying, and it became something else, you know, like a couple of days after I recorded the song, I went to L.A., and he met me out there, you know, and when he came in the room, he was singing it, what a, what a, what a, what a, that, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's, it's a, you know, because Chicago is all about the hoods, different neighborhoods, and you know what I'm saying? You know, it just, it fit. Is it tough to perform that song now with that memory? Nah. I celebrate his life. The success that the song obtains has nothing to do with the reason why I make it. Or the process that I, that, I, that, I, that I use to make it. If it blows up, it blows up. You know what I'm saying? But I know I come from a real place when I make these songs. You know what I'm saying? And I don't compromise. I'm one of the harshest critics of my own music. You know what I'm saying I have to impress myself. Oh, that's it. Each time, oh, so man. you know, each song has to be Definitely better than last. Ah oh, man, there's so many other songs, bro. Um, yeah, that, that's a perfect way to end it, though. Like we don't, 
we don't feel bad. Like we celebrate and every time listen. Like the first, I ain't gonna lie. The first couple of days, like I, I, I try to listen, and then I had to go away because I was too. <laughs> but now it's like we gonna celebrate DMX legacy, his life. He never compromised. No matter what you want to say, no matter what the downfalls, the ups and downs, his flaws. He always gave them to you, so there's nothing that you can say about DMX that he wasn't going to tell you himself. That's what I love about DMX through all the trials and tribulations, but he was one of the greatest ever. Went to Platinum for two albums in a year. Nobody's ever done that. I probably will never do that again unless they try to buy. <laughs> like Jay-Z probably one day will try to do that, try to buy, have somebody sponsor both albums and do one in two in a year. But DMX, man, all-time great. We love you. You're going to live for Your music going to live forever, so you're gonna never going to die. Your music live forever. DMX, all-time great. Grand champ.